Hello everyone. Let's look at the various snowflake editions. Uh, there are four snowflake editions which are available. Uh, standard edition, enterprise edition, business critical and the last one is the VPS uh, which is the virtual private snowflake. Uh, standard and enterprise as well as business critical is something which is uh, used widely. Uh, standard edition is the your normal edition which has uh, all the standard features all the key features are available with this edition if you are starting out and you want to use a trial version you can go for standard edition as well as enterprise edition uh, the only difference is uh, when it comes to time travel standard edition would have offer only 24 hours of time travel so if you want to go back in time if you have deleted some data uh, you want to uh, if you have updated some data you want to see the older data you cannot do that beyond 24 hours if it's a standard edition uh, whereas enterprise edition is has a 90 days of time travel uh, you can go back up to 90 days if any changes has happened in your data and this is the edition that I've seen most of the people using even for your trial uh, trial uh, work uh, Snowflake offers a 30 day trial period. You can go for an enterprise edition so that you can explore these features as well. Uh, along with the 90 days time travel, there are a few other things also that comes with the enterprise edition. Uh, this, uh, this, this additional features are like materialized views, which are not there in the standard edition. Uh, let's say you have a, a long running query, which you are running, you know, um, not very frequently, uh, let's say uh, once in a month, uh, but uh, it is being uh, the results are being used by the users quite a lot. You can create a materialized view uh, for it. This feature is available in Enterprise Edition. And the uh, another feature which is most important, I think, is multi cluster warehouse. In Standard Edition, you have you get only one warehouse. Uh, it's not a multi cluster warehouse, whereas in enterprise edition, you can have a multi cluster warehouse. What does it mean? Uh, basically, if you are running a lot of concurrent workloads, you want them to run in parallel. That time you can go for a multi cluster warehouse. So you can uh, create a virtual warehouse of, let's say, uh, all small warehouses and you can tell Snowflake, right? minimum uh, clusters can be one maximum can be five so if you're running a lot of concurrent workloads uh, snowflake can automatically horizontally scale uh, to up to five clusters that's the multi-cluster uh, the, that brings us to the third edition which is the business critical edition um, this is used for you know extremely sensitive data if you have a lot of pi data uh, you really don't want uh, anything to be exposed outside. So this is the addition that you can go for. Uh, it also provides for uh, in encryption by using customer managed keys. If you want to bring your keys, uh, there is also a facility to have a private link. Uh, let's say you're running this on a AWS. So if you're transferring some data from S3 to Snowflake, uh, you can create a private link uh, which uh, which is you know uh, so the data is not transferred through uh, the internet but it is through this private link so that's one of the most important features so if if at all anyone wants to go for that you can use the business critical version also it can provide you the failover across accounts so you can create the database replications uh, across the accounts if you are using the business critical edition this is not available in the standard and enterprise and finally, the virtual private snowflake. This is, I have not seen many customers using this, uh, but this is mainly for, you know, isolation of your account. In fact, the cloud services layer is also isolated. You might be aware that the, um, the cloud services layer, which is the main brain of snowflake, that is shared across various accounts. But when it comes to VPS, right? Uh, you get a dedicated uh, layer of this. It's an isolated from all other accounts. Uh, it's a separate uh, Snowflake uh, env environment uh, and it is dedicated uh, for, for you. Well, similar to what we have the dedicated host, you can say in AWS, uh, it's, uh, you, you can think about it in a similar way. So these are the four editions that we have in Snowflake. Now, which one you want to use it completely based on, you know, uh, what is the use case for what purpose you are planning to use it uh, for folks who are just uh, trying out snowflake i would suggest you know go for enterprise edition 
instead of standard edition so that you can explore these features of you know 90 days of time travel mv and the multi cluster uh, you can really play around with that you can check the performance of snowflake by using multi cluster as well uh, running a lot of concurrent queries um, so if you're just playing around with snowflake go for an enterprise edition uh, if you are a customer you are actually trying to you know put some workloads on production uh, go for either enterprise or business critical based on you know what criticality uh, what kind of uh, sensitive data you have um, whatever fee, uh, edition you use all of them have all the required uh, fee features um, you won't uh, really you know um, uh, get impacted due to any of the edition because of any of these uh, features but based on your use case you can uh, take that call so yeah enterprise edition business critical these are important ones you can you know go ahead and explore this in further details